All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome to another mock draft. This one is from ESPN, and they've got our first round picks. Remember, we have two. Getting this from Pride of Detroit, they kind of wrapped this up uh, and put it all together. So, shout out to Pride of Detroit. Let's look at it. Let's jump right in. Uh, oh, let's let's jump right in. It says it right there. Okay, first pick is going to be around six seven. Remember, we don't know exactly where it's going to be depending on where the Rams fall, but they have us taking uh, Brian. Brise, his name's pronounced weird. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but remember he's the D tackle from Clemson. Uh, there was a story about his sister that that passed away tragically. She was only like 15 or 16. Uh, that's the guy we're talking about. He's massive. He's 6'5", 300 pounds. And for me, I don't know where you guys are. Let me know in the comments. My power rankings of need, like if everything falls right and you just had to rank where you what you want for the Lions, mine is D tackle, uh, secondary and then a guard and then and there's other things but those are the top i would i would love to fill our d tackle position so this for me checks the box of okay let's let's take a look so here's what he had to say on why he would take this and i'll tell you why i think it makes total sense and i love it um the lions have quickly turned into one of the most exciting teams in the league but their defense still requires a lot of work. We all agree that agree with that. Detroit allows 6.3 yards per play and 400 yards per game, both last in the NFL. Now we know that is skewed because of the early in the season when it was just historically bad. We know we've we've improved greatly, but we still need help defensively. So you have Aiden Hutchinson, Aleem McNeil, James Houston. We know Levi's still kind of hanging out there, but adding Brise would give the Lions a stout run defender up the middle, plus he can get to the quarterback. He's and, and, and why I love this is because the formula in the NFL is rushing four. And we've shown Aiden Hutchinson, Aleem can do it, remember against the Giants, and James, of course. And then you add a guy that's stout against the run but can get in there. Bugs cannot get to the quarterback at all. And that's fine, but he cannot his zero threat to get to the quarterback. So now by adding this guy who's six five, three hundred, you add quickness, and now you've got four guys that can get to the quarterback at any given time plus play against the run. I love that because Brad Holmes loves that because he's seen Aaron Donald and he knows what a playmaker can do on the defensive line. I think that's why he's invested so much the defensive line. Pascal. Hutchinson, Aleem, James Houston, uh, I'm forgetting somebody. Um, and now this guy, right, could be a possibility because you, you you rush four, you drop everybody else, and that's tough because if you can get to the quarterback, that's huge. So one thing that you may have heard about him is that he misses a lot of games. Well, he missed the, last, the back half of 2021 due to an ACL injury, came back healthy, and then he missed four games in 2022 because of the tragic passing a kidney infection and strep throat so it's not like he's this injury prone can't get on the field it's there's been reasons so don't let that scare you and so being an interior guy his ability he's right here this is what we're looking for boom set he's in so <laughs> you 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 need a guy in the interior that can get to the quarterback or at least pose a threat. Aleem's a perfect guy, in my opinion, because he is stout against the run, but he has a little bit of athleticism or, or quite a bit of, of athleticism to get to the quarterback. So that's what I really like about him. I would be great with this at that first pick. Now there's a lot of different op opportunities for us even to trade down um, just because there's, there's people that are going to need quarterbacks. We do not need a quarterback. Okay, that's a whole nother video. We do not need a quarterback. It's so huge. It's going to be, that's massive for our team. We don't have to get a quarterback. We don't have to. So we could, people could package some picks and say, hey, let's go up and, and take the Lions pick at five, six, seven. Now the next pick will, will be 17, 18, 19. Who knows where we'll be? They have us taking the running back. I am not a fan of running back. However, I do think, we need a running back. So do you take B. John Robinson? And then you've got really good running backs. And, you you know, because all these guys are free agents coming up this year, our current running backs. And so you just wonder, do you take the best running back 
available and really complete our offense. I mean, really do something that's going to be awesome because Swift, up until last game, I really was not sure about Swift. I'm still not sure about Swift. He does. He's up, down, he's injured. I, I just don't know what Swift is. Jamal Williams, I know what he is. He's great back, short yardage, goal line, um, can run between the tackles. He broke off a, a long run last week. He's he's good. He, he can pass protect. He can catch out of the backfield. He's a great running back, but you just can't go with him all, all day, every day. You need a Swift or a Bijan Robinson. Is Swift your guy? Can Swift stay healthy and make moves and do the things he needs to? I don't know. So you can add Bijan Robinson. Now, I still don't like this. I, I still think... We need secondary help, and I don't like Bijan Robinson. Let me know your thoughts in the comments when it comes to running back. I I just struggle taking a running back this high because they do get injured more than most positions. It's a hard position to invest a high draft pick in. But then you think, well, okay. But then you see him, and it's pretty clear why he is rated the way he is. Boom, wiggle, boom, boom. And like, okay, I could get I could get on board with this guy. Another one. He's a great pass catcher and he's explosive. Boom. Okay, all right. I'm getting on board a little bit more. But here's what you really like to see. The wiggle in the hole, bang bang, touchdown. And that is the stuff that you can't teach, you can't find very often. Love it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on these two players. Who else would you like to see? Let me know your power ranking of position of need. Like I was saying, I I like um, I like D tackle, secondary, and guard. I think you can't go wrong there. But at the same time, I know Brad Holmes will not go chalk, meaning he's not going to go. Yet yeah, we need this. Let's go get it. For example, James Houston. We did not need a defensive end in the sixth round. You know, we kind of gone defensive end or defensive line for quite a few picks since Brad Holmes has been here. He goes get and gets this guy named James Houston. It's like we don't really need that. Whatever. Well, awesome. So we might take a wide receiver. We might take something that we don't expect, but we. It's fun to look at this now because of Brad Holmes. It's super fun. So the other one would be secondary. We all know just secondary, secondary depth, playmaker. When you see a guy like Sauce out there, immediately a great player. You think, can we find a guy like that? Be difficult. He's, he's you know, those guys aren't just hanging around, but we need help secondary-wise, so can't wait to see what Brad Holmes does. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on these two players and what you expect we will do in the draft as we prepare for Sunday night with the Packers. See you in the next